Our snow so far and with more snow coming means many businesses here in the mountains are busy and making adjustments. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us live this evening in Waynesville. How are they responding, Rex? They are paying close attention to the forecast and making sure they have supplies of all kinds for the important days ahead. What centimeter are these? I think this color. Steve McClure isn't just preparing for snow. He's preparing his flower shop for Valentine's Day. This is one of our biggest holidays. But a delivery of snow will arrive first. So it took some careful planning with a truck full of supplies to have a shop full of flowers. We've gotten all of our roses in and uh, we've processed those and we're, we're pretty much ready to go. There's still a lot of preparation, so McClure says he and his staff will work all week, no matter what the weather. Uh, if I have to go get my staff in, uh, in my vehicle, which is four-wheel drive, I, I will do that. This could make up 25% of what we've got as far as business goes. John Caldwell runs a trucking and excavation business. But he says it's slow in the winter unless it snows, and he can run his plow, clearing shopping center parking lots and driveways. He's getting his gear ready, including purchasing a new salt spreader. But salt, he says, is hard to come by. Yeah, they don't have it anywhere. We're having a hard time finding rock salt, calcium chloride, ice melt, anything. Six, that's all he had. Cliff Clampett picked up bags of ice melt that save more foods in Canton which has been busy lately with customers picking up staples. Well, I bought milk, uh, vegetables. Yesterday was a huge day, I guess because people finally realized and they wanted to get all their stuff before the big snow hit. Back at the flower shop, Steve McClure is ready for the sweet smell of Valentine's sales. We will make it happen. And back here live in Waynesville, a quick check of the roads. This is Main Street, wet right now, but it's getting colder. There's actually been a few flurries in the air as well. So just a hint of things to come. Coming up at 6 o'clock, much more on the job. Those smaller snowplow trucks do here in the mountains. Very important. For now, reporting live from Waynesville, Rex Hodge, News 13.